I've observed over the years. My father, Bishop David Oedekbo, treasures every word spoken by God through his word or through his anointed vessels. Many times you will hear him read out these prophetic words with dates. If you treasure the prophetic word, you will date it. You can't tell me you treasure the prophetic word and you cannot remember when it was released. In fact, you paraphrase it. Every time you talk about it, the content is altered. If you truly believe the mandate was a prophetic word re received, everybody knows the mandate word for word. Because it has been recited word for word. Why? It is treasured word for word. Do you know there are many of us here with mandates who never treasured it? The same God that has spoken to Bishop Oedekwa and still speaks to him, speaks to you too, but you don't lay the same value on it. Aside the 18-hour vision, I've never personally heard Bishop Oedekwa say he entered another 18-hour vision. It may have been a one-minute conversation with heaven that broke loose, yet he documented it. It is not the hours that you claim you heard God. It is the value your place on what he has spoken. If God says to a man, I will set you on high above the nations of the earth, that's less than 10 seconds. If he treasures it and documents it, then heaven stamps it. So treasure the prophetic word. Treasure the prophetic word. You know, there are scriptures that hit home to you more than others. In fact, when you say some scriptures with passion, people wonder, is it not the same scripture I read last night? The issue is you read it, another one heard it. You read it, another one received it. You heard it, another one received it and treasured it. And now the word has brought forth. I like to say to you, this book is an organic book. It has not been altered. It's been refined. Nothing is as organic as the word. Therefore, the word of God is the purest form of prophecy. It has no contamination. So there is no need for deliberation. It has not been contaminated. So it has no case for argument. Argument. 